Hello and welcome to Bike Portal. Indian motorcycles made a fantastic comeback with three new Chiefs. The Classic, the Vintage and the Chieftain. We rode them and although we love their quality and smooth ride and comfort, we do believe they were aimed at matured riders. Indian motorcycles has just proved us wrong with this new dark horse, which has been aimed at younger riders. We've been riding it for a while to see if they've retained that chief DNA in this new, slightly trimmed down package. You've got a lot of goodies on the dark horse. You've got anti-lock braking system. You've got cruise control as standard. You've got this keyless ignition on it. The suspension setup is excellent. It just glides over bumpy roads. Both the rider and the pillin can spend considerable amount of time on it. One problem as always with these Thunderstroke engines is the amount of heating. And this one doesn't even have an oil cooler on it. So I'll say just stay clear of traffic. All black theme on the dark horse combined with fine chrome details makes this chief stand out as younger and meaner. What is even nicer is that the paint texture sits in the middle of matte and glossy finish. The fuel tank too gets this monochrome badge, which looks fantastic. Seats are comfortable as expected, but are made of vinyl rather than traditional leather. Thunderstroke 111 engine has been given black treatment along with fine chrome detailing, which, as on all Chiefs, is a critical design component. One issue that you'll face is you cannot lock the fuel filler cap, so be careful wherever you park it. Now let's see how it performs on the road. Performance-wise, the dark horse feels quicker and more eager to lunge forward. Clutch has light action and the throttle feels a bit more responsive. It sits very planted on highways even when you touch triple digit speeds. Top speed, if you can find an empty road, is somewhere around the 200 km per hour mark. Because it is lighter than the other chiefs in the range, the dark horse is much more manageable to filter through traffic. Seats are very comfortable and you may add a luggage rack if you wish to, which comes as an option. It might be hefty, but still can corner decently and stably. The brakes are very powerful indeed, and the ABS system adds the much needed safety net required for something this heavy. The ride is over, and I really do not want to give this thing away. Putting it on a diet has made the handling nippy and it is now less bulky than its elder siblings. It still cannot be termed an inexpensive motorcycle. However, it is an easier entry in the charming world of thunderstrokes. I'm gonna go take one last ride out. You guys ride safe. Till next time.